So, you're putting out some books for Knudepunkt this year. Talk to me about these books. Actually, this year there are two books for Knudepunkt. We considered doing five, despite the Norwegians of 2013. <laughs> but we settled on two because we were busy with this weird Harry Potter project also, and that kind of swallowed our time. One is a design, analysis, and theory book, kind of more classical Knudepunkt material. It's the Knudepunkt 2015 companion book, because we like the Vrydkan title of having a companion book, something that kind of goes with the conference. So we just stole that. And the other is, uh, is the Nordic LARP yearbook of 2014, because we have the Bible, we have Nordic LARP, the book, and we should have something like that every year. So we thought it has to start somewhere, and this is by no means as impressive, sadly, but uh, it has to start somewhere, and this is here. I'm assuming the content, obviously, of the Nordic LARP yearbook is totally impressive. It, it's just that the physical object is, is more humble. Some people asked us, what is a Nordic LARP, and how do you get to define what goes in the book? And we started by saying, everyone who writes an article and says they're a Nordic LARP is good enough for us. In years to come, hopefully, there will be fights about this. And at some point, somebody will say, this is wrong. We're doing the real Nordic LARP yearbook. I think if you, if you want to go deeper into the topic of what is and what isn't the Nordic LARP, there's a very good Nordic LARP talk by Mr. Jakob Stendros from an earlier year that we can link to in the meta material around this video in the future. This is becoming incredibly meta right now. Okay, uh, you said the other group book is the Knudepunkt 2015 companion to the conference book. What if you're not at the conference? Would this, will this be useful to you anyway? It'll be useful to anyone, anywhere at all times. Basically, it's a, a way of getting into the conversations happening at Knudepunkt or around the Nordic LARP scene, whatever that means, uh, globally also. So yes, very useful. It's everything from people wanting to rename everything and create their own brands, which will never be used, or to analyzing how immersion now works, now we're calling it steering. So there's a little bit of everything. We're calling immersion steering now? That's not what steering is in oh, my, you better in read my the, book. You, have you read the article? I have not read the article. See, <laughs> See what I did there? See, so that leads us naturally over to my last question, which is how do I get a copy of these books? Or how do I get to read these books, which is a separate question. The books are, as everything we publish at Allespils Academy, uh, free, available online as PDFs. And also you can buy them at Knudepunkt, the conference, or you can buy them online on our webpage when we finally update it. So, so far, if you're not here, you can just write us and we'll make sure you get a copy somehow. So, wait. Uh, you sounded a little bit vague on the last thing. So if you want a physical copy, you have to wait until at least next week and then start looking around on your website. Yes. Which we will link to in the comments, obviously. And uh, otherwise, can I Google the title and find a PDF online? Yes. Some people may be tweeting links as we speak. Very good. Uh, thank you so much, Klaus Olsen.